covered by the gazebo. <laughs> I'm a walking gazebo. Hey, it's Huju here. It's almost August 2023, and I'm just now getting around to putting up some of these videos I made from this summer. This one in particular was recorded back in May. I haven't really flown any of my airplanes much this summer, partly because I've been putting together a couple new ones, expensive ones, and they've been pretty complicated as far as getting the flight control set up and the programming set up. And I wanted to make sure I had all bases covered before I made them. So I've had this airplane for probably about four years now, this Dynam Waco. Hmm. And it's still a blast to fly, and it flies like it did from day one. It's beautiful. From my experience, and from what I've read from others, I think uh, Dynam kind of captured lightning in a bottle with this. I don't really know for sure. I mean, it's the only dyno plant I've ever really owned. Let's see, I bought this back in 2018 and it was an older model then when I bought it. I'm not sure, but I think you'd be hard pressed to find a new one today if you wanted to buy one. You'd probably almost have to get it second hand. flying inverted here and as you can see I'm keeping it kind of high because it is in May and it's uh, one of the first flights of the year for me so I'm trying to stay several mistakes high shaking off the rust The wind kind of caught that there. It's kind of gusty this day, and the stabilizer did pick it up, so we saw it burble. All these bugs are horrible. I know. They're landing on my hands. I more often fly my EDFs and some of the faster, larger scale warbirds. So some of the older planes in my fleet, like this one, don't get to see as much flying time. Sometimes I just want to break from those more complicated airplanes that I have and just get back to the simple relaxing four channel flying like this. Regrouping and getting back to basics. Oh, that's beautiful. And this is my go-to plane for doing just that. Mainly because it has no bad habits.
So where we are at here is a horse race track at a small county fairgrounds and it's located way down east. It's owned by a trotting association and as a member I do get use of it. The track is a half mile oval dirt track and it has two straightaways. When the surface is packed and smooth, it makes a great landing strip for the P-51, this airplane here, and the timber. But when it's soft and loose like sand, we have to resort to this area here where you see us, or that large open mode section of the uh, center of the track. Sometimes I can use the midway area, which is has a couple structures and the grass is really kept short mode. That works well for the timber and the 64 millimeter EDF I use as a belly lander. Today because of the wind direction we're using a slightly curved mowed path that leads from the front stretch of the track to the infield. It's that <laughs> curved landing strip that makes this yeah. approach so challenging. And why I didn't try to fly the P-51. 